When mounting a TV on the wall, you must first measure the TV in order to know what size mounting bracket to purchase. TVs are measured from corner to corner. I purchased this mounting bracket along with an in-wall cabling kit. Unpackage the bracket. Its dimensions will be used later. Next, determine the location of the TV. It should be mounted above the coax and the electrical outlet. Determine the desired height for the TV. You may want to have someone hold it up in deciding the location. Measure to where the bottom of the TV will go and mark the spot. Now measure the height of the TV. Do this in order to plan where the hole will be cut in the wall for the cabling plate. I have decided to locate the hole hidden behind the TV just below the bracket since the plate will not fit within the bracket itself. Plus, this will make accessing the cables a lot easier. Record the measurement from the bottom to the center of the TV. Hold the bracket and the cable plate in their position on the wall. Then make a mark on the wall in the center of the plate. Double check the measurement from the bottom of the TV mark. If satisfied with plate placement, and you know the plate will be well hidden, the hole can now be made. Use a stud finder to locate the studs in this area. In this situation, the center mark is on the edge of a stud. Since the plate is hidden behind the TV, the hole can be moved over enough to clear the stud without issues. Using a level, I mark the edge of the stud. This is where the edge of the hole will be cut. I then mark the hole using the template that came with the in-wall cabling kit. Take a utility knife and extend the blade halfway before cutting. This lowers the risk of cutting into unknown wires or other obstacles that may be hidden beyond the drywall. Next, prepare the in-wall cabling kit. Using a screwdriver, remove the plate from the brush insert. Attach the drywall mounting clips to the back as shown here. Now take the clip screw and thread it in as shown here. Once hand threaded, you can finish it through using a screwdriver. Here's how this works. The drywall catch will break free from its tabs when torque is applied. I prefer to break this loose once the screw is secure. Repeat this process by installing the second clip to the other end. It is now ready for installation. Begin by hinging the drywall catches to the flat position. Hold them down as you insert the unit into the wall. Then secure by turning the screws while holding it in place. And finally, reinstall the plate. Make sure you do not over tighten the screws. Next, I'll start on the lower plate. Using a stud finder, make sure the lower plate will be between the same studs as the upper plate. Mark and cut the hole following the same method as shown earlier. Return to the top plate and begin feeding the cords through the wall. If there are no obstacles, the cords should easily drop down the inside of the wall to the bottom. Secure the ends with tape to lower the risk of losing them in the wall. Next, fashion a hook on the end of a wire and fish the cords out through the bottom hole. Then feed the cord ends through the back of the lower brush insert. Install the brush insert and plate using the same technique as shown earlier. The TV mounting bracket can now be installed. Position the bracket with the hanging rail at the top. Use a stud finder to line up the mounting holes over the studs. Level the bracket and mark the holes for drilling. Once the pilot holes are drilled, the bracket can be secured with lag screws. Use a ratchet to tighten the screws. 
Then finish drilling and securing the bottom side of the bracket. Now that the bracket is in place, the mounting arms will be installed on the TV. Begin by laying the TV face down on the floor and detaching any existing legs or base. Locate the four mounting holes on the back of the TV. Install the TV mounting arms by placing them over the screw holes on the TV. The rail hook should be positioned at the top and the channel hook at the bottom. Secure the arms into place using bushings, washers, and screws. Repeat this process on the other side. Make sure you do not over tighten the screws. You do not want to ruin the threads. The TV is now ready to hang on the bracket. With help, carry the TV to the mounting location and have someone attach the plug and the cable to the back. Simply hook the TV mounting arms into the top rail and the bottom channel. The TV is now ready for quality viewing.